Welcome to our tutorial about automated data collection with FacePager. In this video we will show you how to download the comments below YouTube videos and their corresponding answers. FacePager is well suited for this task because, as you will see, the procedure is quick and easy. As an example we want to create a list of comments. All information about this process and the required settings can be found in the FacePager wiki. There you will also find a link to the documentation of the YouTube application programming interface, or API for short. In the reference, you find further explanations, for example under common threads, and lists. As an example, we now want to collect comments of this YouTube video. As you can see, a number of 893 comments is displayed here. It's important to know that the answers, that means the comments to the comments, are included in this number. First you need the part of the URL of the selected video that you can find after v equals. This part is also called video ID. Copy it and now open FacePager to add a seed note via add notes. By doing this, you define the video ID as the data node that serves as the basis for your collection. Then, to set up the query parameters, you can use the preset Get Comments for YouTube. The base path, which is the basis for accessing YouTube, and the resource Common Threads, with which you can collect a list of comments, are already correctly set. Under Parameters, you can find additional settings. At this point, the parameter part, Snippet is necessary, which enables you to collect a lot of information, and above all, the text of the comments. In addition, the setting video ID, object ID is also necessary. Here you define that the seed node is a video ID. Additional adjustments you might need would be the max results, which specifies the maximum number of comments within one request. Since the standard setting is 20, consider modifying the parameter between 1 and 100 to collect more or less data. Also, the text format plain text is set by the preset. This avoids that the text is collected in HTML format. By moving the cursor over the parameters, you will get further explanations about the respective functions. But you can also find all parameters and functions in YouTube's API documentation under common threads and list. Beyond these settings, you are able to set further parameters depending on what's useful for your collection. For example, you can sort the collected comments by relevance instead of time, so that they are arranged as in the standard YouTube setting. However, we leave it at the previous and mentioned settings. Finally, you should increase the number of maximum pages to collect as many comments as possible. This refers to the number of requests. A request contains the number of comments specified under max results. So if we increase the maximum pages to 10, we get 10 times 100 comments. Now it's necessary to log in with your Google account in order to get access to the API. Now to start the collection, click on Fetch Data. You can now expand the node and see all the comments that have been collected. In order to download the comments to the comments, you need to select all of the new nodes and choose the preset Get Replies. Notice the Changed Resource field. The necessary parameters are already set. New is the parameter Parent ID, Object ID, through which the ID of the comments, whose answers are now to be collected, is defined. Another Google login isn't necessary. You simply have to click Fetch Data again. The collection can take a little longer, which is why we fast forward here. To also display the collected answers, another column must be added. To do so, select an answer and select Text Display under Key and Snippet on the right, and click Add Column. The column is then added at the far right of the left window. In general, you should note only if the object type is data, there will be a comment or answer behind it. In order to use the data for further analysis, 
we recommend exporting it as a CSV file. Click on Export Data and save the data in the desired location. If you choose the Export Mode Selected Notes, make sure that you've selected the desired notes. Alternatively, choose the mode All Notes. With a program like Excel or Numbers, your dataset will look like this. In addition to the date and the author of the comment, you will of course find the text of the comments or the text of the answers below. With parent ID or object ID, you can also assign the answers to the corresponding comments. If we now only look at objects that are marked as data, we can see that we have downloaded exactly the 893 comments displayed on YouTube. You can download the FacePager program on GitHub under the FacePager releases page. Further information and get started instructions are also available on the FacePager wiki on GitHub. If you have specific questions, you'll find answers on Facebook in the FacePager user group. And if you like the video, We'd appreciate your thumbs up and would be happy to help you using FacePager with the other videos on this channel. Thank you for watching.